Morning folks, Dave Soap is brought to us from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. It's called uh, Harvest Moon. And um, this is the uh, Crown King version. Um, the scent is uh, along the, an oud scent as well as tobacco. I've got the scent profile listed down below along with the link for a lot of this stuff if you're interested in taking a peek at it. And I uh, also got the uh, matching aftershave here. It smells pretty good. It's it's it is a nice scent, at least from my nose it is. And I've got it whipped up here in my uh smooth bob bowl bowl here. It's uh fairly wet, not exactly drippy. This is a uh Leo Lafrock uh brush that was made for the uh Facebook group the uh, Red Dirt Shaving Society. It's a pretty nice looking brush. It's got a tuxedo knot in it. I, I can still smell. I can still sell, smell that scent from the soap, and the shaver of the day. This is the uh, Razor Rock. This is a version two of the uh, Black Hawk. I guess you might say Hawk. It's, this is just the black version. Uh, it comes in various different colors, and it's also got the uh, Kai blade in it. And this is uh, the third use on this particular blade. And uh, also got a link down below. Uh, about information concerning this particular uh, blade, the Kai Pink blade. Pink is uh, the, the process that they use with this particular blade. Uh, the uh, blade is uh, coated with Teflon. That's the last coating, I guess you might say. But there's, uh, I have a link to it if you're kind of interested in figuring out what all's going on with this particular blade. If you're unfamiliar with it, it um it speaks to how the blade is made and what their thoughts are on it. And to a degree I happen to agree with them. It is a it's um it is a sharp blade, but it's also uh, very comfortable to use. In other words, it doesn't have that edgy feeling. It kind of reminds me of uh, the idea that uh, Persona has used when uh, they have their blades that are comfort coated. In other words, the Teflon coating helps with the uh, smoothness of the blade, but helps retain the uh, sharpness. But anyway, it just it just, it talks about their uh, process. Uh, and I really like this blade. This blade works really well for me. It's pretty nice. It's nice, smooth, comfortable. Got a link down. Now, there's various sites that have it for sale. Bull Goose is one of them. You can find them on eBay, Amazon. They're getting to be a lot easier to find than what they were back when I first started trying to I'm down to use them. The uh, guess you might say the price as goes for price for the uh, for the blades. Uh, you get a twenty pack, and it's not uncommon that uh, that price range runs right around the twenty dollar mark. It just depends on what time of the year you buy them. You can catch them on sale. In other words, uh, right around like a Black Friday sale. And save yourself some money. And that's what I have a tendency to do with these particular blades is kind of have put back a little bit of money. <clears throat> so if I do find them on sale, I pick up quite a few at that point in time. The blades do last a while. Especially considering you know, all the other shavers that I use. These blades will be around for a while. The dispenser is similar to uh, Feather Artist Club blades. In other words, they're, I guess you might say the blades are interchangeable, if you will. Depending on what kind of shaver you use them, but for the most part, the pinks and the supers are pretty much you know, interchangeable. If you can use a Feather Artist Club uh, super or professional and your favorite shaver, then uh, Kai Pink will work just fine. I still like this shaver. 
it's a it is lightweight the uh, version 3 has weight behind it and Chris was kind enough to send it to me a while back and uh, I did a video with it and it is pretty nice I'm still in case you might say I'm gonna wait till the uh, stock gets to be plentiful so that way I get exactly what I'm wanting instead of trying to settle for something just for the sake of getting it. Not getting exactly what I want. In other words, I'm kind of leaning, some I'm kind of torn in between the safety bar base plate or the open comb. And I haven't made up my mind just yet which one. And plus I'm also going to be kind of picky about the handle. And I prefer if I can to try to pick it up just the, the base plate, the cap if I can get away with that. And that's what I kind of prefer to do if I can ever find it in the stock. It's, it does sell pretty quick. So, so if you're looking for the version 3, you may have to be kind of patient. Because it gets in stock and by the time I get around to looking into uh, buying it, it's already out of stock. It goes pretty darn quick. And they've kind of changed their listing at uh, Italian Barber. It used to be one listing, uh, and then you have all kinds of choices from there. And now they kind of separated it out for the three different versions of the uh, version three of the Hawk. Let's take a pass here. I do not have a problem with this particular version, version two. I have not used version one. So I really can't speak to that one, but this works just fine. I mean, I don't have an issue with it. So, and it's uh, still running right about the $30 mark. So it's uh, compared to the, I guess, stainless steel version. It's uh, somewhat cheaper. But uh, I do know that uh, version three does feel good in the hand. In other words, that weight does feel nice. And that's another thing about using a blade like this is uh, it's a little longer than a um, than your DE blade, so it does cover some area pretty darn quick. So if uh, how much time you spend shaving is a little bit of an issue, in other words, you don't want to spend that much time. A little bit longer, longer blade like this one here. We'll make short work of your of your shave that's for sure it takes no time at all it seems like for me um, i enjoy using this shaver for me it's easy to find the angle this blade like i said is pretty smooth comfortable and efficient the very first time i used it it was an occam razor and uh oh it was just talking about an awesome shave my face was so smooth. Um, yeah, it's a good, it's a great blade. I really like it. Now, how many shaves you get out of a blade? I have not done this blade like I've done with others and try to push it to see if I can get, you know, seven, eight, ten bla uh, shaves out of the blade. I have not tried anything quite like that with this one here. I know quite some time ago at a shavette using uh, the Feather Artist Club Super, a 10 is about as far as I would push one, and that's kind of babying it at that point in time for me. It's a lot of fun to use. This particular handle also, I should mention, um, for anybody that it matters, um, this is one of those handles uh, that's a two-piece handle. So in other words, this part right here is a knob and you can take that completely off it for some reason if you needed to. And if you had a stand that you're wanting to set it in or something of the sort, uh, for me, um, I leave the knob on, it works just fine the way it is. I don't have a stand for it. 
and I don't really have a need for a stand for this particular one. Now, with Timeless, though, it was kind of a, uh, one of those things that it just adds to the shaver. It really looks, the shaver looks stately to begin with, and then adding that, uh, that stand was just like, you know, puts it icing on the cake. And you can kind of tell, like I said, that blade makes quick work of the shave. Quick and easy, smooth, comfortable. No nicks, cuts, weepers, nothing of the sort. Like I say, this is the third use, so uh, you can find these blades cheaper right around uh, Black Friday. It's the reason why I mentioned, in other words, you know, if you want to kind of thinking that 20 bucks for 20 blades might be a bit off-putting, catch them on sale. And like I say, you get more than one shave out of the blade. Got just a little bit of stinging on my neck. I forgot to mention also, what day is this? <laughs> Day's Thursday. Hope everybody's doing well also. Because uh, here we're expected to get a little bit of uh, uh, rain, thunderstorms, and all that sort of thing. And the last time I heard the weather report, uh, in between Thursday and Sunday, possibly two to three inches of rain. In other words, we could have a, a what, a gully washer, frog strangler type weather. <laughs> It's going to be wet, but I haven't checked it yet this morning, so we'll see how much this has changed. Because you know how the line of a storm line, you know, it'll change overnight within an hour sometimes, especially here in Oklahoma. It'll change pretty darn quick on you, quite unexpectedly. This scent works well for my nose. Like I say, it's a, got a oud tobacco. I think there's hay. Uh, I can't remember all the scent notes in there, but... It's a very smooth scent. In a way, it does remind me of uh, the uh, scent Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement that made for uh, made for a shave of another Facebook group uh, called Dixie. The name of the scent is Dixie, and uh, the it mentions you know the return is smooth. And this scent is very smooth. In other words, that's one of the things that I pick up on this. And if you haven't seen this particular bottle before, that's a restrictor there. It is glass. There's no plastic there. So in other words, if you wanted to pop it out, <laughs> there's nothing to pop out in order to, inst to increase the flow. Quite a bit comes in one time, so I think you might be all right if you are you follow that kind of thinking. But th this scent... It is pretty nice. Like I said, I've got a link down below. And I don't know about seasonal scents and this one here. In other words, how much longer it might be available. So it's kind of one of those things if you don't hurry up and get it, you may have to wait till the next season to, to pick it up. But I had a great shave this morning. My face feels good. I smell great. I tell you what, this is this is a pretty nice scent. I really like it. Hope everybody's doing well. Doing he stay healthy. Smooth shaves to you.